All right, here is my little quail hatch with my trio, Brad, Jen, and Angelina. We have two laying Caternix quail and one male, their boyfriend. They live in this little quail hutch that I built <laughs> about 15 years ago and uh, still hanging on. This is what I built for my first two phantom chickens. And now I keep my quail in it because it's easy to move them around. But it has a little door on one side here. I need to fix it, but right now it works. And that's what I use to put their little sandbox in and take out eggs if they roll to this side. And then on this side, has just a little more privacy with a little window. The reason it has these two pieces of wood sticking out on the right and the left are just so it's easier to move. I can just grab one end and pivot it, or two people can pick it up and walk it anywhere. It's really light. Well, not really light. I made it with scrap pieces of wood, so it's kind of heavy, but it works. It's actually pretty easy. They're just chilling today because it's nice and warm. I'll show you. We usually in the winter we have bungees that keep this closed for predators. Because we live where there are lots of predators. And then this opens up to the inner sanctum. This is where I have my second door. This piece here is completely bolted on so it's not going anywhere. And this is the time of year when the light starts to wane that we have to put a little artificial light in here. So I just keep a little lantern there if I need it. I turn it on every day at like 4 p.m. and turn it off at 8 p.m. It's just easy. And then I've got their water in here which I need to replace and clean but that's our way. And then their food which gets messy but then you move the quail hutch you know every single day and their little quail turds go into the grass through the chicken wire. My hutch is completely wrapped all the way around even the bottom so they get access to the grasses, but predators really cannot get to them. Even though they want to, because everything likes quail. We used to have issues with chicken wire with uh, raccoons and rats. I know it's gross, but they would pull them through the chicken wire. So now we do this teeny tiny gauge. It's like a half inch gauge chicken wire. And it's really nice. Oh, there's a little egg. Thank you, ladies. I got Brad. He's that big boy in the front. And I've got Jen and Angelina, my two laying females. The turnix quails about, oh, how old are you guys? Four or five months old? Not very old. But that's the nice thing about quail, they grow really fast. From hatch to harvest is about five weeks, six if you want them really plump. And they start laying at about hmm, five or six weeks. And their eggs are delicious. Thanks for watching. Bye.